Hi everyone, this is Danielle from Monopoly Plan. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome back. It's great to see you guys here. Today is going to be something a little bit different. I have been setting up my Erin Condren hourly planner, and today I'm going to be doing a weight loss tracker in the back of my Erin Condren in the notes pages section. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Alright, so this was one of the notes pages that I knew that I wanted to do for you guys. I am going to be doing a game board style and this is definitely one of those things that is going to take a little bit of time to do. So parts of this I'm going to speed up. The end result is beautiful, but some of the more tedious things I'm sure you guys don't want to watch. So first thing is I'm going to put in the corner here. And I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys my starting weight and my goal weight. So this is going to be for my first goal. I will make another one when I reach my first goal. And then my second goal is going to be a lot more difficult to achieve. Being completely transparent, it's not easy to do, but I feel like if I can help somebody not be ashamed of where they're starting, then I did... I did good. I did right by putting this out here. So I'm starting at 210 pounds. I am 5'3", so that is a lot of weight to be lugging around. My first goal is going to be 150 pounds. I eventually would like to get down to between 130 and 135, but this first goal is what is going to be attainable for me in the beginning. That last 15 pounds is going to be much harder. So I'm going to be doing all of this in pencil first, and then I will be going over it with pen. That is just easiest for me because I know I'm going to be erasing a lot. But this right here is going to stay, so I wrote that a little bit deeper. I'm eventually going to put a title at the top. I'm just going to do something kind of decorative, but I kind of want to just jump in and show you guys kind of how I set this up. Again, I recommend if you're going to do this, doing it in pencil first with an eraser because it's going to happen. You're going to mess up. Another thing that I have is a ruler. I took this from my eight-year-old. <laughs> but this is definitely something to have if you are looking to do something similar to this, but you don't need it. You can freehand this and it would be just fine. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap on the left side here where I start because I'm going to kind of put a starting sticker. Actually, you know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'll just kind of write it out now. So I'm going to skip the top two lines because I kind of want to do something decorative at the top. And I'm just lightly going to write out start. I probably will do something a little bit fancier with that at the end, but this is my starting point. So then I'm going to give a little bit of space here and I'm going to start here. And what I do is I measure out how much space I have. So I have five inches to comfortably bring it to about right here. I have to figure out kind of how I want to divide this. If I have 60 pounds to lose, and I use two lines per kind of game piece. I would probably want to do maybe eight pounds per line. So that would put me at like seven lines worth. So for me, kind of what I'll do is kind of mark that I will use those two lines right here for the first line. So then let me kind of gauge this out if I do another two another two so that actually would probably not be what I wanted let's see because I, I kind of want to use the whole sheet I want this to all be a game board so if I skip two lines and I go like this skip two go like this skip two go like this all the way down skip two go like this skip two in there how many lines does that give me one two three four five six seven that gives me seven lines so if I do eight pounds per line 8 times 7 is 56, so that doesn't quite get me there. The idea that I have is that if I do 8 pounds per line, but then if I kind of turn the game board a little bit, I can add a couple extra pounds on the side. I'll show you guys what I mean here. So this is, this is why I suggest you do it in pencil first to kind of figure out your spacing. If you want this to look aesthetically super nice, you can just kind of spitball it and you're good to go. So if I want to do eight pounds on here, let's see, if I do a half a pound, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, that would put me at ten pounds per line, which is what I don't want. So 
let's do a little bit more. So if I do every three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight lines per half. So if I do 10 lines, so I would start here, count 10 lines, I would be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lines would put me there. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one more. Puts me right there. So 10 little stitch marks or little lines on my ruler brings me to right about where I want to be. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pounds in there, and that brings me right to the edge. So we'll just kind of do this. The box will look like this. It'll go over and down. It'll be two lines tall and that line wide. And I'll do that all the way across. To add in a little bit of extra, what I would do is I would come down like this, below it, and add in another pound loss. There would be nine pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go down for nine. And then down one more for ten. And then at this line, I would start going back over this way if that makes sense. I like to do something a little bit different for 10 pounds because I have my reward set up that at every 10 pounds I get a little reward whether it's a spa day or a mani-pedi or an extra I get a new Apple Watch band or I get a date night with my husband or whatever. So what I'll probably do for every 10 pounds is I'll probably make this square a circle weirdly enough. I'll do that at the very end though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm kind of kind of do my first row to show you guys. I really hope this is showing up on camera. I think it will. I'm going to kind of show you guys how this will end up looking. So I'll do one line there. And then here's where it starts here. Maybe. And then one line across. And then, so this is kind of how I'm going to keep going the entire time. I will kind of just, you know, sketch out where I think my lines are going to be. And then just kind of like guess and check, like, honestly, I probably won't even use a straight edge for this. I'll probably just eyeball it because it's not that long and I can get it pretty straight. So then there's my first row. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is I will do my next row. So I have three, four, five, six, seven pounds here. So if I want to go, you know, in all reality, what I could probably do is just take this and mark it all the way down. So if I have this line here, I can just then bring this line down and use this kind of as a guide on where my next set of lines should go. And again, this does not have to be completely perfect. If you want to use a ruler, great. If you don't want to, then don't. It will look as good as you want it to look. And honestly, I started out using this ruler a ton, and now I'm just kind of eyeballing it in a way. Let me do this. Do this line across the top. Maybe. For the top of the game piece. And the bottom of the game piece. Okay. So I have my 10 is here, so then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now I only did seven pieces there. So what I'm gonna have to do is add on an additional piece here because I said I wanted to do eight per row. In all reality, I have this one that I added on here, so there really is eight across. However, I wanted to add in those extra pounds. Eight per row would only get me to 56 and I need to get to 60. So adding on one or two on the side is even better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this around and do my 10 little marks. So here's another 10 to add on another square. And then I'll just quickly do this to make it straight. So then what's nice is that it kind of offsets it a little bit. It's not completely symmetrical all the way down, so it looks more like kind of like a game board. So here's my 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So then if I come down two, so if I take this and I come down and do the same thing over here, over here, 
and make my two game pieces. This is so not straight, but I can fix it later when I go over it with pen. I'm just trying to get my base in and then I can touch it up later. Okay, so then I came down two more pieces. So here's my 10 pounds lost, here's my 20 pounds lost. I'm gonna put just a little star here. Here's 10 pounds, here's 20 pounds. So then if I come over and do another, my next eight pounds, you know what, I can use the same line again. So I just take this and I come down here. Here's my next line. And the easiest thing to do would probably just to do these lines all in the beginning. But for me, it's just kind of easiest to go around the game board as needed and just kind of make my lines as they come. So I'm at 20 pounds lost. Now I'm working my way up to 30 pounds lost. So here's another three, four, five, six, seven pounds. And I'll do this line across again. And I will just kind of finish up this row and then I'll finish up the rest on my own because once you see kind of how this works, you'll see kind of how it goes. And then I'll come back at the very end and show you guys kind of how I end it. But once I got over here, then I can add my extra two like game weight loss pieces here. So here's my 20 pounds lost, 30 or 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Here's my 30 pounds lost. So it's going to kind of keep going around like that all the way. So if you look, I'm about halfway down the page and it's exactly where I want to be. I want to be halfway to 60 by now. So I'm going to keep going and once I kind of get this rough sketch, I'll show you kind of how I finish it. Okay, so I finished the rest of it. I stopped here at 30 pounds. I was able to keep going around for 40, around for 50, and then I stopped here. This was 59, and my next box will be 60, which is my goal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, so I have start there. I'm actually gonna write finish, because it's supposed to be a game board. Here's like the end, so start and finish. And then here, I'm just going to kind of sketch out the word goal because I am proud of the fact that I reached my goal and I kind of want it to be this big, you know, celebration when you get here. So I want this to kind of show that. And in all reality, this is going to take me a while to get here. It's, it's probably going to take me three quarters of the year, if not the whole year. I'm hoping to have a really good chunk of this done by June, but I, I don't know if that's a reality. So looking back at this start, I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. Yes, I have the word start there, but I think I'm going to kind of do this box type thing, and I'm just freehanding this right now, just to kind of give it a little bit of pizzazz, and I'm going to write start in the middle. There we go. I like that better. That's so weird looking. There we go. So there's my start and my finish. And what I'll probably end up doing is doing another one of those weird boxes down here. So it looks, you know, similar, cohesive. And it almost reminds me of like, like a superhero type deal when they say like, wow, and and yippee, or I don't know if they actually say yippee, but where they have like an emphasis on like an action word, that's what that reminds me of. Okay, so I have the basis of this done. I have my start, my finish, here's my game board. So then what I do next is my starting weight is 210, right? So here, start is 210 pounds. So when I lose one pound, I will then be at 209. When I lose two pounds, I will be at 208. And I will fill it out all the way down. So 10 pounds lost. So 10 pounds lost is 200 pounds for me. 20 pounds lost for me is 190. 30 is 180. 40 is 170. 50 is 170. 
60 and then 150 is my final goal. So I really like the idea of kind of emphasizing every 10 pounds lost. So I'm going to erase the boxes around these 10 numbers and kind of see what the circle looks like to see if I like that better. I might. Alright, so I have that erased. So if I just take this and I kind of freehand a circle here. Okay, I like that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to freehand a circle really quick and I can clean it up when I go over it with pen if I choose to. And they're all going to look a little bit different, but that's okay. 180 and then 170. I just kind of like how that 10 pound one is just a little bit different. It kind of really tells you that, oh man, there's another 10 pounds lost. That's pretty awesome. And it also kind of shows me a visual representation of when I hit my next reward, how close I am. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest of the numbers. So I think I want to add a little bit of interest to this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shadow the game board. And the easiest way I think to do this actually will be to use a ruler, let's see this side right here, and make a line here. And this part right here will then be colored in. So it's almost like it's like a 3D game board, like that. And then I'll do that for every row. Honestly, this is not a necessity when you're losing weight. However, it helps me. It makes me excited to lose weight. I lose another pound, I get to come in here and I get to, you know, mark off another pound. It's just something that is creative, it's fun to make, it's fun to fill out. When I lose a pound, I will then come in here and color in the circle that it goes with. So if once I lose one pound, I come in here and I will probably use colored pencil with mine just so I can color light enough that I can still see my numbers. Um, I am going to go over this with pen so it will definitely be darker, but just come in with a, a colored pencil and if I lose three pounds one week, then I get to come in and color in three squares and it's just kind of a visual way to track my weight and kind of see, you know, how far I've come, how far I have to go. It's it's fun for me. I enjoy it. And but I'm a very like visual person. I, I like to see progress opposed to just like seeing it on a scale. That doesn't really tell me a whole lot. Like yeah, I've lost five pounds, but what does that really mean? That's why I really like doing measurements as well. This is just kind of a freehand. I'm going to do this a little bit better in a little bit. But All right, so for my top, I am going to my title to this whole thing. I think I'm just going to put Get Fit, something super simple. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of do that bubble style lettering that I tried doing at the bottom. So I'll do this in pen, and then I will take a a mild liner most likely and what you do is you just do this and then you kind of do a cursive over the top and then you have like two different fonts on there and because the cursive part is only in marker not in pen it's just kind of this shadow font so that's what I'm gonna do for the title but I want to add in whatever decoration I want to use first. I'm going to be pulling from this wellness sticker book. And there were some stickers I saw in here that I really, really liked. I think that they'll fit. So I have this sheet right here in the sticker book. And it has all these positive sayings. It has stay positive, you got this, be present, get it done, things like that. So I think I'm going to pull, I have to kind of think of like a color palette what I want to do. I think I want to do this in, let me pull the markers I think I want to use. So the colors on here I think I want to use are this like tealy color and this purple. So because of that, when I look at these stickers, I want to pull things that are similar. So they have this one that says get it done that's in this teal color. Let's see, maybe down here. 
right in the middle and it fits perfectly in these lines and these are from a happy planner sticker book and an Erin Condren planner and that's okay so then I'm also going to pull this purple one it says you got this and I'm going to put this one up here to kind of bring in the purple and the green okay so I think I'm actually going to pull in just a few more stickers I think I'm gonna take this little shoe right here. This is the fitness book, the, but the, for the mini happy planner, I'm gonna take this little shoe. I'm gonna put this guy up there. And there were a couple other ones I saw in here that I liked. Let's see, okay, so I really like this one right here. It's really small, but it says get fit. And I like these little tiny ones to fit in there, to like in the small spaces. They don't take over a whole lot of space. And I also like this one right here that says don't quit. Just a lot of motivational stickers that can go on here to kind of help. So let's do the hmm, let's do the don't quit one right over here. And then the get fit right there. There. Just some quick stickers just to add a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go ahead and fill this all out in pen and I will show you kind of how it turned out and then I will be right back. All right, so this is how it turned out. A few things that I had to change up. Down here when I was going over it with pen, I accidentally put some lines that weren't supposed to be there. So I put a sticker here and I moved this one just because I was trying to cover up my mistake down here. Not that it really matters. I voided it out some, but it still kind of bothered me. So I put this one down. I also added a couple purple accents. I just put some purple here, purple here, and then purple up around here where the starting weight is. But I really like how it turned out. I used the mild liner underneath and then went over it with pen and then erased all my pencil. The pencil is, for the most part, completely gone. You can't even tell. There are a few lines that are sticking out, but this is how it turned out. So when I lose a pound, so I'm starting at 210, I will come here and I will color in one pound loss. When I've lost two pounds, it will go there. So on and so forth. The next video I'm going to do is going to be a couple of the notes pages, but in, in there is going to be the rewards page that I'm going to be doing. So then when I have lost 10 pounds and I make it to here, which is 200 pounds, then I will get my reward for 10 pounds lost and so on and so forth for 20, 30, 40, and 50 pounds. And then my final goal when I get to 60. It took me... I don't know, a little bit of time to go over it with pen and then erase the pencil, I'd say maybe 15 minutes, maybe, if that. But I love how it turned out. This is something that I will definitely reference in the back of my planner. So if you're interested, definitely try something out. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be simple. It can be something like this with just a few stickers or it could just be pencil. But this is a good, for me, external motivator to kind of see my visual progress of my weight loss journey. I am honestly wanting all the tools possible to be successful at this, so I'm going to try everything. This has worked for me in the past and I love filling it out and it's just really fun to, you know, look at and see the progress and then come back on years later. The one I did that was successful at a couple years ago, I ended up putting the date in the corner of when I finished it and reached my goal, just kind of as a fun motivator and something to look back on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I have some other note pages here in the back that I'm going to be doing soon. I have like my fly lady schedule and I have my home project one and the rewards chart and my notes pages and dashboards so let me know what else you would like to see that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys have an awesome day and i will talk to you guys next time bye <music>